Hi guys, I thought I sent a message out that I would be on live, so hopefully you lot can join me as soon as possible. Well, I'm Laudia, as you may or may not know, and for those of you who are joining us for the first time, um, it's Prithia Psychotherapy Practice, which is an organisation, and we specialise in the psychological intervention for personal change. So, last week I did... A small clip about you know I'm promise I'm a possibility and that was just going through my head all day and I thought I'd share that with us because there's so many times when we use our circumstances to define who we are so if you're here just say something say hi let me know you're here I can see that you're here so just say hi let me see let me see who you are and then we can get into the bits of what I want to talk about and what I want to share with you. Okay, while I'm doing that, let me send a few invites out. Okay, so this is my first live actually, and I want us to talk about, you know, you're not your circumstances, you are your possibilities. You are not your circumstances. We are not our circumstances. We are our possibilities. All right? As I said, just say hi so I know you're here. Okay? <laughs> All right. So I came up across this quote for some times now when I've been reading it. And every time I say it is by um, Oprah Winfrey. And what it says is that you are not your circumstances. You are your possibilities. If you know that, you can do anything anything and I go yeah right <laughs> yeah really I can be anything I can do anything me Lordia yeah? yes guys I do question my possibilities and I often question my potential but the thing about it is that I do not allow myself to be all consumed by my negative thought processes because the moment we allow ourselves to do that that's our downfall okay so let me just reiterate that you are not your circumstances you are your possibilities and if you know that you can do anything as difficult as that might be to believe at times you can do anything once you've got the right mental attitude and the physical work ethic to put towards that yeah so the two together yes you you can do you can do it i can do it so some of the things that we need to do is actually we just need to start developing an ear of objectivity we need to be quite subjective in our thought process and once we're able to start separating our thought process with anything that denigrates us then we're able to build on that and this happens a lot of the times where a behavior or an incident you know we use that to define ourselves and I guess we maybe we can't help it because growing up as children, you know, you have a tantrum or oh, you're a naughty boy, you're a naughty girl. Hi, hi, Rakesh. <laughs> Hello, sweetie. Thank you for joining. And thank you for saying hi there. So I know you're there because quite a few people are here. They're not really saying anything. But thank you for joining in. All right. What I'm actually talking about is about you're not your circumstances. You are your possibilities. Okay. And. I made a, a short clip the other day about, you know, that song, I'm a promise, I'm a promise with a capital P, I'm a great big bundle of potentiality. And I just wanted to expand on that today, where I wanted to use this quote from Oprah to just expand on that, that you are not your circumstances, you are your possibilities. And if you know that, you can do anything. Mrs. Ruby, thank you for joining in. Okay, good evening to you too, darling. So I'm just here expanding on you are not your circumstances. And I wanted to add to that, that if I did listen to my negative thought processes about my circumstances that I found myself in many occasions, I would not be here talking to you today because those self-doubting beliefs would cripple my potential. It would cripple everything that I desire to be and what I want to be. So once we start developing that objective thought process and we understand who we are, which is separate and we're separate in 
with regards to who or what we do so like i was saying about growing up and you have a tantrum and your parent says to you oh you're a naughty child no you're not a naughty child that behavior is naughty but you are you you're not that behavior and i guess we then grow up with that sort of thing at the back of our heads we are this we are that we are this we are that no we are not we are not our circumstances we are not the the behavior i might go out and i might get totally drunk over the weekend that does not mean i'm a drunkard you know i might not have a job today but that does not mean i'm a bomb it doesn't mean i'm useless it doesn't mean that this is my future and this is never going to change you know, the only thing we're starting off in life is that change. Change is a must. The only thing we're starting off is change. Whether that change is good or bad, then that's debatable and we can only wait on time to determine that. But it must change. So I've got three points here in which we ought to do to help ourselves not getting dragged down by our negative thought processes and labeling, labeling ourselves with our circumstances. And the first one is refrain from using languages that either denigrates or inflates who we are as a person in relation to our circumstances. So this could be either good or bad. You know, sometimes we, we're terrible, we're rubbish, we're not good parents, we're not good wives, we're not good employees, we're not good at anything, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not. And it's just negative, 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 negative to the point where we start believing all this negativity. And on the opposite to that, we have many persons who, I am good at this, I am great at this, I am this and this and this, I'm so successful, and this and this and this. And all that is defining who they are as a person. And on either extremes, it's just not really good. And I've seen many times where this pan out, where parents, for example, Laurie, you're a parent, right? And let me try and read what you were saying there. You said, okay. Yes, Laurie, you're absolutely correct. And I was just about to say that, you know, you're a mom at the moment. And if your only identity is being a mom, the circumstances of you being a mommy at the moment, when those kids grow up and they're off to university and they're doing their own thing, you're absolutely lost because you haven't had an identity outside of being a mother and that happens so many times to people they've got really good jobs their career is going really well but because they've used that circumstances as a definition of who they are as a person once that job goes their life is up in the tits basically because they haven't got any idea who they are as a person and we shouldn't get caught up into that so we need to refrain from languages that either denigrates or inflates who we are as a person Yes, Lord, yeah, you need to not use languages that either puts you down or inflates who you are. Just got to be mean, whoever that is, okay? The other one is that we ought to remember that everyone wins sometimes and everyone loses sometimes. We have our ups and our downs and we should not use someone else's ups to define our downs or ups. Our time will come once we have the right mental space and we're doing the things a physical, we're putting our physical hard work into it. It will happen for us, you know. The saying, I know most of you on here know it says, you know, today for me, tomorrow for you or something of that nature. But yes, we're not all going to shine at the same time. We will take turns to do that. And also in the negative side of that, sometimes we cover shine on the bushel because we're scared of the judgment from other people. But us hiding our shine is not going to make anybody else shine brighter. So no point in doing that either. And in the same breath, there's no point trying to shine brighter than everybody else because you must be seen. No, just just be you. Just We just need to be us, whoever that is. Right? Thank you, Deneen, for joining okay so so that's the two points so far and the third point i wanted to make on that is be careful of the self-talk that we have and we just need to catch ourselves when we are starting to devolve into that list of negativity about ourselves which i mentioned earlier about you're rubbish at this you're not good at this you're never going to be this you never you know all of that negative self-thought talk that we give ourselves on a regular daily basis we need to be very careful of that 
because we are not our circumstances, we are our possibilities, right? And if we believe that, we can do and be anything. <laughs> Yes, I'm say as I'm saying it to you, I'm trying to convince myself with it. I'm trying to believe it as much as possible because it's about our mental state. It's about our the way we perceive things. You know, we can see the glass as half full or as half empty. It's about how we our perception of life is our perception. Oh yes, Mrs. Ruby, we need to be our own cheerleaders. Oh my word. You want to hear me cheering myself on. And you know, in saying that as well, it's about the perception. Because like someone said to me the other day, but you're so confident, Lordia. You know, you're so confident. I'm thinking, are we talking about the same person here? Because not because I put on my best shoe when I show up and I turn up and I do what I have to do because I, I believe this is the way forward doesn't mean that I don't struggle like everybody else to to convince myself that you know I'm not the, these thoughts I have to I have to believe that I'm not these thoughts as well I have to turn up and turn up and turn up really good because we all have these self-doubting beliefs listen listen girls I am my worst critic if I can sit down and I can pick myself apart. And by the time I'm finished, there won't be much of me left. So we got to just get rid of that self negative talk and believe that we are not our circumstances. We are our possibilities. Okay. Before I go, I just also wanted to say as well that a few people have been sending me messages and a lot of messages have been coming through, especially in my personal inbox and that's fine and I don't mind replying and responding and I actually do like communicating with you guys because what that does say to me is that you're actually listening you're actually reading my quotes and stuff that I put out on a daily basis you're watching my videos and that's encouraging it's good feedback however I I would prefer if you guys correspond with me through the business page because then it makes it easier for me not to have that conflict of interest where I'm trying to keep my personal page separate to the business page so as well as for those of you who knows me personally some of those messages i would rather you send it to the business page because there is a conflict of interest some of those questions i just can't answer because of a relationship so it'd be nice if you send it to the business page and even though i am the face for prathea psychotherapy i am not the only therapist we have a team and they're very competent even maybe more competent than i am and we're all specialists and expert in our own field and faculties so there will be someone there to answer your questions or respond to you in a very empathic way so i would really really appreciate if you use the business page all right guys um That's my current. Hey, say a bit more about it, Danine. What's that? What's your current biggest trouble at the moment? Yes. So, guys. So, whilst we're at it, we just need to develop a thought process where we're encouraging ourselves and not going to subterfuge of negativity about ourselves we just need to remain very positive in our thought process and that will permeate in our way of being you know that will come through that will shine through all right so thank you guys so much for commenting here and if you're watching the live or the replay you can always leave your comments and as i was saying sometimes the questions which you are sending are quite personal questions and i can understand that or your comments or the thoughts you're sharing are quite personal they're quite sensitive stuff so i understand you not wanting to share that on a public forum however for the less personal stuff i would appreciate if you put them under the comments under the quotes on the, the the videos and stuff like that because the interactiveness on the page you can receive support from other members of the page because we you know we might not all be experts in psychology psychotherapy or all of that but one thing we are expert in is life we are experts in life so if you got just a general question you know you can put your comment someone someone else can respond to you maybe offer you some sort of empathic um encouragement or support so guys uh, thank you for checking in with me and as i said this was my first live so i will be 
emailing or messaging you guys to join me for the next one. Okay, thank you, Laurie. That's exactly what I'm talking about. There you go, Danny. Laurie did answer your question. See, that's it. This is about what we're talking about. Group support is very, very important. All right. Is there anything else before I log off? Because I'm quite conscious of the time as well because I don't want the recording to be very, very long. Because sometimes when you're watching replays and the person's just going on and on and on, you just lose it, the moment, momentum to listen after a while. So... I don't, I really don't want this to be very, very long, but I do appreciate you guys joining us. All right, I guess I'll take that as my clue to conclude this. And as I said, I will reiterate this. It's you are not your circumstances. You are your possibilities. If you know that you can do and be anything. All right, guys, have a good evening, Mrs. Ruby and Danine and the rest of you here. All right, bye.